Daryl, go ahead. Uh, hey, Jacob. The other night after the game, Coach Cal said, I really hope this was just an off night because you guys had started 3-0. and Have you got a sense from practice whether that was just an off night? And how can, how can you tell as you're kind of getting ready for Auburn? Um, we all knew that was an off night. That was definitely an off night, and that's it. Uh, in practice yesterday, we were all going at each other and making each other better. And we took a step back um, during that game, but now we're taking a few steps forward and we just got to keep preparing uh, for the next game. John Hale, we'll go to you next. Jacob, you mentioned the off night. I mean, normal years, all teams have off nights and it's not that huge a deal, but because of the hole you guys kind of dug with the one and six start, is there more pressure to avoid those kind of performances? It doesn't feel like there's a lot of room for error left for you guys. I don't think there's any pressure for us. Um, we're human beings. We make mistakes. Uh, sometimes we have off nights. Sometimes we have great nights. We just got to deal with those. Um, moving forward, we got to definitely prepare uh, more for games. We have to be more focused. And I think that's what we're doing right now. We're very prepared and we're very focused for this next game because we want to do good and um, we just got to make up for that loss that we had. Kyle Tucker, we'll come to you. Jacob, there's been some reaction in, around, kind of around the country, really, uh, to one line and what Cal said about you all kneeling, about you know, maybe it wasn't a good time. And some people have said that it, that felt like he was throwing you guys under the bus or hanging you out to dry. How did you guys feel? And do you feel as players supported by him in, in that movement. We, um, Coach Cal loves his uh, players. Uh, he treats us like um, he, they we're his um, sons. So he's never gonna be against us. He's always for us and he's always supporting us no matter what it is. Um, that was nonsense. Um, he's definitely uh, helped us through all of this. He's definitely been there for us through all of this. So he's a great guy, he's a great coach. So anything else that it's not good. Jerry Tipton, we'll go to you next. Jacob, I wondered if you've watched Auburn at all, if you've gotten a sense of uh, the challenge they present. Um, we definitely watched a lot of film on Auburn. Um, we know they're a similar team to Alabama. We know they like to run the floor a lot. And uh, these practices, we're just preparing for that. Um, we didn't do a very good job against Alabama, but we're looking to do a better job against Auburn. And that's uh, with preparation, and that's what we're doing right now. And I wonder what you think of uh, Sharif Cooper. He's a new guy, uh, you know, at the guard, point guard spot. What impression has he made on you? Um, we just treat him as any other point guard that we're going to play against. Uh, he pushes the f uh, ball. He looks ahead. Uh, we just got to uh, stick to the scouting report. We got to stay focused, and we just got to know our personnel. Terry, you're next. Jacob, by the analytics, you were, you were one of the best defenders the other night for Kentucky. Now that you've played, you know, pretty much 10, 10, 11 games or whatever it's been against kind of higher level competition for maybe what you saw uh, at Rhode Island, just how, how, feel, how do you feel like you've kind of done on the defensive side of the ball this season? Um, I definitely took taken a lot more pride in my defense uh, this this year. Um, it's keeping me on the court, so I'm gonna play defense. Uh, I take pride in that, and whoever coach needs me to play defense on, I'm gonna play defense on them, and I'm gonna try my hardest to stop them. And um, just moving forward, whoever is my assignment, that's who I'm gonna um, go at, and that's who I'm gonna stop um, and on defense. Daryl Bird, we'll circle back to you. Uh, yeah, Jake, I just wanted to follow up on, on Kyle's question about Cal supporting you or not. You said it was ridiculous. It, it sounded like, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but the appearance is that the guys were kind of angry about that. It, was there conversation at the lodge between players about what happened? Um, there were no conversations, but we seen what was said about our coach and we didn't like it because that's a false narrative about him. And he's a great guy, like I said, and a great coach, and he's always going to support us no matter what. Tipton, we'll circle back to you. Yeah, Jacob, you, you've had experience last year playing on the road with fans. 
I'm wondering in the true road games you guys have had so far, how you would compare the experience with fans there with the experience without? I mean, definitely having fans at the games uh, brings a lot more energy. Uh, we get a lot more hype. But with the year we had uh, so far with no fans, with limited fans, even having a little bit of fans at um, each game helps a little bit. So we're not really worried about the fans, but they definitely help in some way. Do you think the, uh, the hill isn't nearly as uh, steep to climb on the road when there are many fewer fans? Um, I guess, uh, in a way, it can, it can be. Um, but we're focusing on each team, and each team is going to come at us no matter what, whether there's fans or not. So we just got to play to the best of our abilities. Do we have any other questions for Jacob? If not, thank you, Jacob, for your time.